What are you going to say to him now? I just say, he's right in front of me, and I can honestly tell him that I'm going to knock him spark out. I'm going to knock his spark out. What are you going to say to that, Kevin? Relax, relax, baby. You relax. You are getting knocked out. Let me tell you. In your hometown. Wow, she had a great performance. At New you're nice, York. You're nice and hyped. Madison Square Sunday. Garden. But I'm the real deal. I can't wait to beat you up. I'm the real deal. I can't wait. I'm going to your face and I'll take your face. Go on, go on, go on. Flip I'm going to gonna smoke your boots. We'll see. We'll see. Because I am the best by the way in the world. We will see. So I'll take you by my noise. Okay, man, this is what it's all about. Remember, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. May the best man win. Touch up. Let's go. Come on, guys. Touch it up. All right, let's do this.
Yes, you see, right in the middle. He really got a lot of power to that. And give it the second round for Nassi after even opening. Keep your chin down nice and tight between your shoulders and uh, keep punching as you move forward. If you stay in front of Naz and don't throw any punches, then he's going to take you out. He can't back off, he has to go forward and try to get close. could just call this Nazo I wonder if he'll back off and just let him recover because this fight should be stopped that young fellow's legs are completely gone if this fight is not finished in the first round it's because Nazo doesn't want to yet it's all over all over the most clinical finish seen in the British ring for some time and Prince Nazi Mohammed Prince maybe even surprised himself there Maybe that was just a punch you threw, he stepped in with the punch, it was a wide hook. Got through with a right hand. Being asked questions that we haven't seen before, he's caught by a right Heavily on Alessia. <laughs> Good solid right hand there. Oh, left hook. And Prince Nassim reasserts it. Under half a minute left in this round. The final bell for this round cannot come soon enough for Alessia. Knocked down in both rounds so far. Heavy right, punches. Hannah left. First knockdown of his career. The, also, Alessia caught him there, but he still had enough to land that left. Beautiful punches and very heavy hands. That's very much so. Here's that right hand. He caught Nassim bang on. And if it goes a few rounds, three or four, I'd be interested to see how Nassim copes. Right hand knockdown. You can see Nassim arrogantly saying no from Ricky Landy shots but good shot body shot phone with arrogance that was a good shot on Ricky you do well to get over it well a delighted young man doing his flips for all to see <laughs> Well, you saw Nassim Hamed start off on Pro Box when he fought the very experienced Ricky Beard. Dropped him with a body shot. That was two rounds. It's 
not just a, a showboater, he's got a lot of physical strength. Well, like I said, both his previous fights have ended in round two, and he's looking to do a job on Bloomer now in round two. Left, got him. And that's it, a third successive second round win. Here come a little bit of breakdowns. <laughs> It'd be funny if you broke a leg one day, wouldn't it? Well, not funny, but some people might say it uh, would serve him right. Brendan English says, that's enough, son. It's a bantamweight contest. The British champion, Drew Doherty, the Scotsman. Commonwealth champion at Bantam, Johnny Armour. Oh, lovely right there from Hamed, straight through the middle, down goes Lay. And just to see where this kid's really going. Oh, a beautiful straight right there from Hamed. That's a. Uh, Naz can take the whack as well. Go on now. Got every punch in the book. World class fighter. Go on now. I was saying Brendan Ingle would like to bring the glory days of boxing back to Dublin. Hopes to have a talk with a businessman, former. Rugby International by the Lexus are absolutely superb. Once again, it gets caught. That was a throw. And Lay still in. Oh, lovely right hand. Slinks down to the canvas. Well, Reg Thompson might just call a halt here. Not going anywhere here. And believe me, Lay came to win. It's his final punch. Yep, all full in the face. Declares Hamid the winner. In two rounds, barely raised a sweat. Colourful gloves, haven't seen these for a long time. Yellow ones, it's introducing them now. Oh, what a good shot. To see him shaking in the opening round, that is news. Never been on the deck. He's so unpredictable. I don't think I've ever seen a fighter with just so much confidence in what he's doing. Cruz is in bad trouble here. Jim, this will be sensational if he stops this fella. Cruz's legs are shaky, Reg. He hasn't thrown the effects of the first couple of good attacks. Reflexes as far as McGregor was saying. He's really got him. Pleased with that, Jim, again. Yeah, well, if you wanted a decent start in a fight, Reg, that's the one you would have written down. Early in the that is. I don't think he realised what had hit him at a couple of stages there. See, the thing with uh, Hamed, Reg, nobody else does it the way he does it, so how do, you, how do you prepare for this kind of attack? Must be very frustrating to fight against you, mustn't he? I'm not thinking frustrating, Reg, I'm thinking painful punching power to trouble him. Uh, Cruz doesn't have that, that's why it was almost a safe match. No, shoved him over yeah. there, he's right the referee, Jim, isn't he there, Larry O'Connell? Cut that out, son. Unofficial score there by Barry McGuigan, which we do on ITV. But I'm sure the judges have got that the same way. He's come back with better, but at least he's landed a couple of shots. Oh dear, there we go again. Two falls and a submission. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, we got. <laughs> really, you can count on one hand the decent punches that Cruz has been able to get through in this first five rounds of a scheduled 12. Oh, oh, a punch. He, he worked that punch early on. That looked as though it was coming out as a jab and he just switched it into an uppercut, bang on the chin. I've never seen that done before. His head almost departed from his shoulders the way he brought that up. This is one game fella Cruz, and I'll tell you what, he's got to be, because it's all over. Referee's quite right, he, he's seen the man wobble. Yeah, well, that, it's as though he set off to throw a jab and then switched it into an uppercut. Well, there he goes, dips, bang, that was a beautiful punch. That was a finisher in its own right, that punch. Cruz did well. That's his second title in the second weight division. We're not winning world titles yet, Reg, but uh, it's well within his grasp to pick up a couple of world titles if he boxes like this. That was better. Oh, that was better. That was better. You see, now he took a decent shot. Oh, that was naughty. A definite push there. The referee, the referee has got to do something with that. Yeah. I mean, that was both elbows in his face almost. Cleaner. He's got moving to quality stuff. Oh, 
And that was the best punch he's landed so far. That was a good little solid. Oh, no, no, yeah. man. Same punch. Oh, he's turned away. He doesn't want it, this guy, does he? What's happened there? I don't know if I took it. I get the impression there's it's possible that a tooth has been loosened with that punch. Really? Oh, well, that was, no. his jaw was loosened with that. Punch that set up looked to me. The way he looked away and pointed to his mouth, it was as though maybe a tooth had been loosened with that shot. This is the one, bangs it. That was right in the mouth, and that's when he turned away. Yeah, well, I think after that punch, he didn't really want to go on. And the finishing punch was a beauty, bang. Oh, bingo, he had that no option there, did he? The lights were out for it. Uh, whether he'll reach the same heights as those uh, other people remains to be seen. But he certainly is special. And I tell you, Jim, I'm sure he takes a good punch. Oh, dear, his legs there, you notice that? Standing off. He looks a bit shocked, one, did not he? Oh, look at that. Oh, dear, oh, dear. This one's not going. Mickey Van's going to tell him. And Hamed is just playing with him here. Yeah, Cody couldn't take him out. He doesn't even look, look close to catching him. Nope. That was more of a stumble, yeah, quite yeah. right, referee Van. Oh, dear, oh, dear, he leapt off the floor. Now, there he shoved him again, but he did land the punch, but yes, he did shove him with that one. He'll fight till he drops the Mexican, that's for sure. Problems, of course, with the flooding some time ago now, well, recently, really, in, uh, in Glasgow. And uh, power problems. Oh, dear. Well, that's, that is a knockdown and no shove. You see, Castro's never faced a guy like this. There's nobody has, obviously, we realise that now. For all the time in the world now in this round, Jim. He's done it at the start of the round. Well, he knows he has the power to do it with one single shot. There, there it is. Goes. It's all over, I think, yes. Oh, he's doing, he shouldn't have done that. He's given him the standing count, no, and he's no, done he the knows. somersault. And yeah, Mickey Van there, he's getting right on top of him, too. He realises that he might want to have to step in. It's a foolish bravery, and it's all over in the fourth round. You see, one single punch, and he's over. That's the knack for this performance, but uh, just in a real state of what we already knew. Tremendous power, tremendous talent. He's doing exactly as he pleases with a fellow who has just finished facing a world champion. Incredible. See, he would have gone over here if that rope hadn't kept him up. That was the reason Mickey Van could step in. Actually, I've never seen a boxer so relaxed. Are you going to be as relaxed as this when you fight for the World Championship? Definitely. You're going to see it for yourself. I'm so relaxed. I'm ready to do the business. It's not that you're taking your opponent too lightly tonight. No, I'm not taking him lightly. He's going to get beat, just like the rest. It's me in three. It's Nassim's prediction for this one. Well, uh, up until now, Leandro looks at a worthy opponent. control of his feet. I mean, he really planted that to the, the Belgian referee because it, it, this fellow's legs have stiffened on him. Now, the referee should stop that, Red. Yeah, he's over. That's the last thing we want. That was unnecessary, that last punch. I just was, wish that had been the last one that he took. I mean, Hamid, lovely balance, lovely move. Just saw his chance. Bang, look at that. Let's see the way the head's gone. Down he goes, legs all over the place. Now, Curry's got another left hook. Bang. And he went down heavily from that one because his legs weren't supporting him, his reflexes weren't what they should have been, and he went down heavily. Well, it's straight over the circus, isn't it? Well, he usually spends the first round just feeling his opponent out, but he's going for it right from the word go here. But Angelis doesn't look phased at all and gets it with a couple of punches himself. We've never really seen... Anybody who can be the top of the tree out there has got to be good. Right hand crashing through on the left hook too. Angelis. <laughs> Nobody Hammond is really trying to get some power behind them punches. Watch that, says Larry O'Connell.
and it is smiling now at Angeles who has a fierce stern look on his face he's taken a fair few punches already big right hand left another right cutting through Angeles having to take punches coming from all sorts of angles but skins on in the corner this is some of the work by Prince Nassim and it was some good stuff really leaping in getting a lot of power behind them punches oh terrific right hand and then a delayed action fall he's looking at his corner is he going to beat the count no he's not he's knocked out in the second round he really is quite a talent isn't he he is he makes a miss by fractions and now we see that, that quick counter and it's got angeles in all sorts of trouble due to go 12. prince nassim in the uh, gaudy shorts if you needed the identification there is diving in of the Yorkshire Yemeni. And already Hamid getting through with shots from, from all sorts of difficult angles. They're getting the job done. Including the last one, Enrique Angelis, you might remember. He takes around just to short little right as a clever punch again from Hamid. Starting to get through. He's finding it hard though to lay a glove on Hamid. And you get the feeling somebody is going to connect like that left hand from Nassim. And really leapt in with that shot. Is he on his way to yet another quick win? Perez is in desperate trouble again. Down he goes. It is. He's done it again. Another somersault. Another victory. To see somebody test him. But maybe he's so good that they can't test him. That's right. He really just left in there with that left hand. Perez. Well, we wondered if he might have the credentials. I think here that Nassi was saying to him, I didn't really hit you here, why have you gone down? That's right, well I thought it was the first right hand and then that little short left hand where he got... Awkward, you notice right away he's a southpaw, jabbing with that right hand. Oh, and they both go down, just as I say that he walks into a left hand, but look at these shots here. Prince throws a backhander and then tries to push his man. Oh, he nails the former champion, and down he crumbles to the canvas. The Prince has dropped him twice in this fight, and he goes down that time, but I'm sure that'll be called a push. And it is a push as the referee waves it off. Look at the Prince trying to finish this fight off. Both of these guys want it so bad they can taste it. And that's what makes it for a great fight as he goes down for the second time. Look for the sharp counter. He's missing a lot, but the right hand got through. <laughs> Trying to step it up now. Fast punches, good ones, and he's got him going here. With a big right hand, he walked onto that. Melina took those punches extraordinarily well. How has he not gone down? Thunderous shots. And he shows some real resistance, but he can't afford to keep taking those. It looks good for the Prince at the moment, but what durability from the Argentinian. Yes, he's got a sturdy chin and a good character. He's trying to fight back, but you can't take powerful punches like that for long. He nearly made the prediction come true there. Molina hit by two more. At the moment, Nassim's doing what he wants. Right hand and a thunderous left. Molina, I don't think, is going to be able to carry on as he, he somehow got to his feet. His eyes were in orbit, he looked to us at ringside. His powers of recovery, remarkable. Three quarters of a minute left in the round. And Nassim Hamed wants to get the job done in the round that he predicted. Well, Molina's brave, but his feet, his legs just don't look quite there. On steady legs, and you just think it's a matter of time now. It is over. It is stopped in the second round. He said round two. It is round two. Prince made to miss. 
doubling up on the jab neatly Johnson great deal of punches land for me the men but the, the cleaner shots and more of them have come from Johnson in this round again Nassim tried the left hook very very suddenly he's got him with a left hand Johnson backed up against the ropes has to take another right hand this time he's in a bit of trouble then a left is Nassim going to fulfill his prediction worst moment so far for the American he's wants to stand and trade which may not be wise combination punching he's got Johnson going this is a big round for the Prince he falls over there the crowd think it's a knockdown Nas has got him going oh and a right hand catches Nassim nearly did he did very well to get out of that Johnson he used all his experience Ten, there to avoid the punches this is right at the end. Seven Johnson nine. rolls away Round and then four. slips over the top. It's a good left hand as well. And again, the legs look wobbly from Johnson. His legs are looking. Johnson's starting to feel the power now, looking unsteady on his legs. Team can find another humding if you wonder what might happen. Punches are coming at Johnson at angles he hadn't really dreamt of, despite all his experience didn't really land too flush Johnson's movements are more labored than they were a little early on though he's taken a few I remember Tom Johnson got off the floor against Ava Bellenio when we saw him in Newcastle the Colombian he was down in the first round and got up to win by stoppage in the last it's not a light hitter and there he catches Nassim again who again left himself off balance and knows it some people maybe the judges could be seeing things a little differently remember there are two american judges and a mexican scoring this and that was all close from a little short left hook inside and again johnson's hurt bad moments again for the american and heavily suddenly nasi has him on the run again oh and the left hand sent johnson reeling backwards three punch combination from Nassim he can be a chilling finisher started the round fast which will give him a full three minutes to maybe force the stoppage lovely uppercut as well it's another very very good looking left hand from Prince Nassim once he gets his man going like a lot of good fighters he suddenly knew with the speed of a big cat at times as well He's really putting power into the right hands now, Hamid. Oh, he's he looks tottering. in a bad way. Johnson tottering, almost went right hand. He's surely ready to go. There's a cut as well underneath one of the eyes for Johnson, who's all over the place. We are surely only seconds away here. If Nassim can find another big punch like that, a right uppercut. And the IBF featherweight championship of the world to his WBO belt. And this is where it finishes Ian, the right uppercut. He just looked for that shot, bent his knees, got all his power in it, and a beautiful delivered punch. Johnson just crouched down and just sort of fell into the punch, really. He may well decide to go for it. Now, interesting to see what Billy Hardy's strategy might be. Might he... But whether he can do it when the pressure's on, that's another thing. The first question you have to ask with every big left hand from Nassim and Hardy took that well or Peter. Then another right hand, objective when you thought he was going to stay down. It looked as if it would all be over and it might be two. The three knockdown rule is in effect. One more knockdown, he's stopped anyway. He said round one, it is round one. Every world title fight has ended inside schedule. The right hand he just picked it right through the defense there he had to be stopped there it is that long long right hand a little delayed effect there you can see the grimace of pain it was a, a hard hard shot coming towards the end of round one another big left hand goes through again Cabrera took the punch well not all the previous Nassim opponents have shown even that durability Cabrera knows about the prediction as well though left hand flooding through <laughs> a 
hit by the left hand, the hand speed befuddling him. Guess he's walking on to the left hook now. Ahmed getting more power in that punch, really going for it now. He's going for the stoppage. He's got him going. Send him reeling backwards with the latest left hand. Blood around the eyes of Cabrera as well. He's looking bad. The nose looks injured. He's the left eye swelling. From this venomous punching featherweight who gets in a game with a left hand. Prince Nassim is just toying with him at the moment in there. Another huge left. Bringing them all, bringing them round. Another good left hand. And Cabrera is stopped in the second round, just as he predicted. See the stoppage there. Again, that trademark right hand turns into an uppercut. Another powerful left. He's in all sorts of disarray. He's badly marked. He's already badly injured here, Cabrera. There was blood from the nose. There was eye damage already. He'd taken a lot. Hamid just kept on finding the angles. Throwing other punches from crazy angles, particularly that kind of corkscrew-type uppercut you saw and attempted there. There's a left hand, that's rocked for Dio. Now it looks here as if he's decided that he's going to get the argument finished. Now that's not a knockdown. That would have been a surprise, wouldn't it, for both of us? That would have probably hurt too. That's how I've got it at this moment. Everything so far to Hamed. I don't think as many would argue with that. Huge jab. And now he's going through the razzle dazzle. Look at this, I think he's trying to do all this for the Sheffield fans, he's playing to the audience, trying to taunt for Padillo, who's taking all this, taking some stick for trying to humiliate his opponents in the ring, and he certainly went over the top against Belcastro. Brendan Ingle just calling out there, don't get careless, he's still obviously a little worried of Padillo. Left hand there, not too happy, took another big left hand, this fellow is durable but even he was wobbled by that, then a right, blood coming from his nose, this could be the finish now, they want to stop it, but Dio's corner want to stop it. He'll come at him though, threw him over there, he won't like that though, Chris. off balance more often. <laughs> so you fight him back, he's got all the guts in the world, Vaz, because he's... As I said, don't, don't write the old man off by any means. It's maybe later on in the fight, if uh, it, you know, it starts to take its toll. Oh, the old dropping of the hands now, we're getting the... Oh, right hand punch on the button there. You see, I said to you, that was the punch he would use, Vaz, because he's good with that. Hello, sharp. Two punches on the turn there by Hamed. Just dying to reach his chin, Vasquez, but he's, he's not in the mood for it, Hamed. He's... See how many people would leap in with a right hand lead like that by the American referee? Now, he can't afford to get sloppy, actually, Hamed. He's, he's got to accept that this fellow's taken a few good shots and he's still in there. Wiping the gloves instantly. There's no old-fashioned rosin dust on the floor anymore. Now let's see whether Frank Warren's demand, as it were, to to Hamid, because I think he's worried about the, the thing a lot. Oh dear, he, did, he didn't miss him with that. No, nope, he hit the rope with that one. Yeah. He's got him going all right now. He, he staggered back from that. He could tell that Vasquez. He was hurt. There, he thinks Vasquez will come slightly come apart now. He's just not landing any punches, Vasquez. He's getting well out pointed. Oh, it's legs then. They started to go. He's going to get knocked over. He is going to get knocked over here. Because if he can't control his legs, he can't control the fight. Are you all right? You get back in again, but it's you're just walking back into the fire again. All over, all over. The winner and still champion, and because of this.
Emmanuel Stewart so far, I think the big mistake, the corner talking from because there's a trickle of blood from the right nostril of the And there he goes to the body. But as all his punches up, he's in success. After having been frustrated through the first three rounds by the elusive notation. Yeah, when he had 18 in a row, George, it seemed like I got a hand up because I did it. So people you never went out of your way as the Prince does. The seconds left in the round. Let's see if Naz launches a wild. And it was done right in the floor of things. He didn't aim for it. He just let it happen. Not over a distance, of course, his fight. He was off balance, as is so frequently the case. And Engel is landing. Didn't let Brian Engel. 15 to 51 for the Prince and had a 23 to 9 edge in power shot. So they should win this fight. And if a knockout presents itself. A longer fight than Naz expected when he told her did the right thing at the end and still had enough hand shot. Yeah, it was all about moving around. He got his left, then throw. No, it's not in his nature. That's a hard one to do so. Now Prince Nassim Hamed again backing Bungu up. It's hard to throw when you know that Naz is coming back with those big shots. Just head. Just to show how. <laughs> Normally, Naz backs up and allows the opponent to come to him. So come to the conclusion that Bungu can't hurt him with the right hand. Looking wobblier than is usually the case. And throwing Mac. And there's a hard left hand for the Prince. He turns around into a right. And the bad thing about that with the Prince, moving fuck and you won't have those muscles to protect you. No trouble. Little. Okay. When we go to him, we go to him. Oh, beautiful. You work in next body shot and touch it with the right hand. So the side of his range. Don't stand in the middle where you can be hit. Good clean punches. Well, his style is so unusual. I mean, as a matter of fact, this guy's. I've seen him dig into the body. And you stick about why he hasn't seriously hurt. Is that both McCullough and Soto want to survive? Down goes Bunker. This was a solid box. He knocked out. That's me fashionable, George. But I think the criticism is straight left hands. There it is again. The song is, I've got to be me. The Prince, you're going to get hit. Down goes that seam on a straight right. The trip, but that punch also bloodied the nose of Naz. Down, and that's all there is to it. He got hit, he went down. It's enough now. Picking up. Clean. And he was, he was stung and... That's better be wrong. And another big left hook by Sanchez. Oh, Covered for right. the left hand that he took. But he's still, he's still ah. dangerous. The feet right, left. 16 out of 30. Sanchez 13 out of 24. And even fight. Sanchez lands another left hook and a straight right hand. And if you're one of those viewers who's turned in, are tuned in hoping to see Prince Ness. But he's certainly giving us more than most people expected. Lance Lance Lance. Lance. Thinking, here goes my million if this guy goes down. Sprawl in round number three. Shades of the Kevin Kelly fight. Get into a brawl with a big puncher. You know what happened? A lot of big chances in the first three rounds here. Good and right. another big right hand. Sanchez warned him, don't lose your focus. No matter what happens in there, fight your fight. That's in the third round. Let's go back to the second round and see if we see anything more. What it, what it looked. Saw Prince Nassim holding on to the rope as Sanchez was punching him and trying to knock. This was a good break for Sanchez. Augie Sanchez got an extra. And then the corner gets a full 60 seconds oh, to work by the fighter. And that's the way it goes. He didn't pull it a knockdown. And at the end of the round, Augie Sanchez was virtually out cold. Yeah. Nass is throwing more than 70. And there's a huge left hand. To Augie Sanchez, when Augie was on the floor, Augie slipped out and a Prince hit him. And, and that slipped. But even still, Sanchez is on the floor. The Prince leads down and he wins. Please. I think the referee heard him by not calling it a knockdown. Sanchez out on his feet. The no-nonsense referee, and Prince, he doesn't benefit by those, the Prince does. Sanchez again, slides down the front of him, left, right, right. I can tell anyone, if the Prince comes close to your hometown, you better go. There could have been six. All I can tell you is, look, he's an acrobat. Hands. <laughs> Even when you're fighting a puncher, you take it. He had taken up to that point. You're right, George. 
He got hammered by power punches. Hudson Hammer.